Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we learned how to make these super adorable crochet butterfly keychains. I will give the link to that video in the description. Today we are learning a slightly different arrangement. So let's get right into it. For this project, I will be using anchor cotton threads. I am using two shades of pink and two shades of green a 3.5 mm crochet hook a darning needle and this time i will be using two different sizes of darning needle because last time i realized that the darning needle i used to weave in my crochet projects would not get through the beads so i am actually going to be using two needles some ribbon a keychain a pair of scissors a lighter and some plastic beads We'll start off by making the butterflies. If you already know how to do this, you can skip this part and forward straight to the arrangement. I will leave the time steps down below in the description. So I'm going to start with my shades of pink first. I am taking my two threads of pink together. We'll start with the slip knot. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch into the very first chain to form a circle. Chain three. This also acts as your first double crochet. Make another double crochet right into the circle. Chain two. Now make two double crochets and two chains into the circle and please note that I am automatically weaving in my ends while making this first round. So two double crochets and two chains. Now you want to repeat this pattern all around for a total of eight sets. Two double crochets, chain two. Two double crochets chain two we have completed two sets you want to do that for a total of eight sets and we'll meet you here I have completed my eight sets of two double crochet and chain two now we'll slip stitch right into the top chain of the first three chains that we had made here I will cut off my working thread take out my threads I'm also going to snip this off because I have weaved in these threads while working this round now it is time to change our color so here I have my two strands of green thread Now here the space between the first three chains and this double crochet, I will be introducing my new color in between this space. If you want you can even tie a knot but I'm just going to directly insert it this way and make a chain. And this thread right here I'm just going to weave it in as I work the second round. Okay so now that we have inserted our color you see this two chain space, we will be doing six double crochets into that space. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Now I'm going to slip stitch right in between these two double crochets. And we're just going to repeat that all around. Six double crochet into the chain two space and slip stitch in between these two double crochet. Repeat that till here. I have just reached the end of my round. I have completed my six double crochets into the last chain two space. I will now be slip stitching into this space 
where we started between the chain three and the first double crochet so make a slip stitch now chain eight one two three four five six seven eight fold your butterfly in half wrap around your chain eight around to where we first started and slip stitch into the very first chain cut off your working threads weave in any threads that you may have first butterfly is complete go ahead and make a second one just this time switch the colors around now I will teach you how to arrange the butterflies into a keychain now that my two butterflies are ready it is time to cut our ribbon okay so I'm just gonna place my butterflies this way one on top of the other and in order to determine how much of ribbon I will need, I'm just going to eyeball this a bit. So one side is going to be slightly shorter and one side slightly longer. So I might cut about this much. So I have cut my ribbon to about 12 inches. Next, I'm going to take my key ring, insert one end of the ribbon. Now I want to tie a knot, but just make sure that one side is short and one is long. So first I will be inserting my top butterfly. So first the bead for which I am using a ribbon embroidery needle. To change my needle and now insert my butterfly. then again I'm going to finish off with a bead I'm going to finish this off by tying a knot you can do like a double or a triple knot just to, you know to be on the safe side you don't want the beads coming out It's time to arrange our second butterfly. going to cut off any excessive threads and the last step and just be really really careful while doing this and make sure to not keep the flame 
too close to the ribbon because it can catch fire. Just a brush just from afar. And our butterfly keychain pattern number two is complete. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel.